Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see from the title, this is a get ready with me to go see Sabrina Carpenter. I, in this video, will be voiceovering everything. So this is future tense destiny. Um, but in this video, I had already had my shower and everything. And I love to combine my EOS vanilla cashmere lotion with my Frenchie's cashmere vanilla <laughs> um, oil um, because it just keeps me moisturized and feeling good and smelling good and then um, I am about to start doing my makeup here um, fun fact my boyfriend's house was actually where I was in this video getting ready because he lives 15 minutes away from the arena where the Concert just so happened to be taking place. So that's why I have all my makeup and everything packed here, um, ready to use and everything. So yes, um, I'm getting ready in my bathroom here um, that is at his house. But yeah, so if you guys are interested in seeing me get ready for this concert, then stay tuned because I am so, so happy this look turned out so super cute. So to start my makeup, um, I use the e.l.f. Power Grip Niacinamide Primer. Um, in my opinion, it just is like the best and it makes my skin, you know, feel hydrated underneath my um, makeup and it just stays forever. So. Um, and then I like to underpaint with my makeup. I prefer to conceal and contour first and then go over with the foundation on top. So uh, my concealer that I use underneath my eyes and to highlight and stuff is the e.l.f. 24-hour camouflage concealer in a light shade. Um... I honestly don't really pay attention to like the names or whatever unless I'm like repurchasing it of course if I run out but I just use whatever I feel like has the best undertone and brightness that I want and just pick from there honestly if I'm being for real so I can't remember off the top of my head what shade this is I think it might be like light sand or something like that but um or is it beige sand something like that yeah um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm just using a little sponge to blend and, um, I'm also looking off a lot because I was watching a video the whole time I was doing my makeup, um, because, you know, just to keep me occupied as I was doing this and, you know, having something in the background I prefer to do. So yeah, as you can see, looking very bright. <laughs> So now I'm going to go in and contour with the same type of concealer, just in a darker shade. So um, I just go in with a contour brush and do that. I used to contour my forehead, but after a while, I was like, mm, I don't know if this is like the look I'm going for. So I just mainly contour my jawline and cheekbones. Um, and my temples, and then a little bit on my nose, too. So that's pretty much all I contour, and I don't like it to look too harsh either. I like it to look, you know, nice and natural. Um, and then I will go over top, you know, with the sponge that I used to just kind of <laughs> make it look more seamless, if that makes sense. Um, I'm using my Clefairy... ColourPop um, blush from the Pokemon collection. I really wanted just a nice, sweet, natural looking pink blush. So um, because, you know, Sabrina's makeup typically is like very simple but sweet. And she does a lot of shimmer on her eyes and stuff. So um, but I love to just keep my... Um, <laughs> oh, Apollo, <laughs> my boyfriend's cat. He was like, no, put me down. Anyway, um, yeah. Now I will go over top with my foundation. Yeah, so I use the About Face foundation in the shade M2 Olive, I believe. 
yeah and i will mix that with my um concealer from rare beauty i believe i use 400 w so um yeah i will blend that together because it just makes the perfect shade for me and you'll see it just becomes nice and flawless and just natural looking because that is the goal i just want my makeup to look like skin pretty much so yeah i pretty much do this all the time this is pretty much my like everyday makeup routine as far as like my base makeup um sometimes i'll do eyeshadow sometimes i won't but as you can see it just looks nice and seamless especially since i did the under under paint first and then went over top afterwards with my foundation so and this is hands down like my favorite foundation brush it's by revlon i just like randomly got it from like tj maxx one day like a long time ago and it is just so stinking good i wish i could find like more like this but this brush is going to be with me for a long time <laughs> um so yeah needless to say it's just like a flat foundation brush so it keeps the coverage looking really amazing but buffs it out really nicely so look at that oh my gosh she's glowing goodness gracious yes ma'am you love to see it and then i'll just go over top of my eyes and get my neck and everything we don't want to look crazy make sure to blend it to your neck but look at that coverage is beautiful and amazing so yeah that's pretty much my face but um i went ahead and i set it like my under eyes with just like translucent powder but my rare beauty uh setting powder right here has been my new holy grail it is so beautiful i'll use a fluffy powder brush to go over where my contour is and stuff and pretty much all over the rest of my face um with this it has been my favorite it is the best match to my skin that i've ever seen for a powder um mine is in the color sand so yeah um needless to say this has been my new favorite and i will probably be repurchasing for the end of time <laughs> um and i'll go over um my forehead as well and then my nose too basically wherever i contoured contoured is where i will put it and then i'll just dust over to get rid of any excess powder um from the translucent powder that I put wherever i highlighted so yeah um and then i will use my favorite color pop blush on top um this is just in like a mauvey pink color um like i said i was going for naturals so yeah just gonna put that wherever i put the blush and you know blend it out with whatever's left over on my uh setting powder brush um yeah I hope I sound like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I actually hate voiceover because I get so nervous, but I hope I'm explaining it to the best of my ability. I'm clearly spacing out and watching whatever it is I have on my iPad I was watching, but I'm about to do my eyeshadow now. So I'm going to be using my, um, oh my goodness, what is it called? The uh, coconut something um eyeshadow palette from ColourPop. it just has a bunch of natural like nude shades in it and stuff so it's very much my go-to palette because it's you know it's nice for just natural looks basically with the nudes and everything so i'm just going in my crease with a nice warm brown color and then I go in with a darker brown color on the outer corners of my eyes. And I'll use whatever is left over on the makeup sponge that I used to do my highlight to kind of cut that um, so that it doesn't look messy. And I'll, you know, set that with like whatever's left over on my little, you know, um, makeup pad. So, yeah. Um, I really wanted to do something shimmery. So, um, even though like it's like natural with the browns, I went in with a super shock shadow from ColourPop for the inside of my eyes because I wanted it to be a soft glam, but I still wanted some shimmer. 
So it's like a champagne gold color. It's super pretty. It's like hands down one of my favorites. If I can find the name, I'll put it out on the screen. But um, ColourPop's Super Shot Shadows are some of my favorites for like putting like on my lid. So yeah, I'm just going over that with my finger. It packs on better with the finger. That's why I didn't use a brush. And plus I didn't want any fallout onto my beautiful base. So, and then I'm just buffing that out, making sure it looks nice and blended. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I did eyeshadow wise because eyeshadow is just so easy and you know, no need to overthink it. Um, I went and filled in my brows with my e.l.f. Um, brow pencil, and um, I had did my brows like a couple days before, so they were pretty much in the shape I wanted them to be and not looking all crazy like the caterpillars that they usually are. <laughs> um, so yeah, just defining my arch and shaping them out and everything. Um, using the spoolie side to, you know, buff that out so that it doesn't look too harsh and so it looks more natural. And let's see, what do I do next here? I'm literally like following the video <laughs> step by step. It's funny because I just remember all the products I use. Um, oh, I go in with my concealer and I go underneath my brow bone to highlight, but also just to clean it up on the bottom. Now, I know that some people are probably like, girl, why didn't you do that before your eyeshadow? Leave me alone, okay? <laughs> like, it's not that big a deal. I kind of just do makeup in the order of whatever just pops into my mind sometimes. Sometimes I do eyeshadow first. Sometimes I don't. But, you know, it's just, it is what it is. It ended up looking nice anyway. So, you know. Just wanted to clean that up on the bottom pretty much with the uh, concealer. And then I think I'm going to be doing my lips next. I can't remember. No, no, no. I think I'm going to finish off the rest of my eye. Eyeliner and, oh, nope, eyebrow gel. <laughs> yeah, so eyebrow gel to lay down those bushy, curly brows. Um, yeah, that I believe is by Essence. I just use it from Essence. And then next I will go in, I believe, with eyeliner because, girl, leave the brows alone. Oh my, they are fine. <laughs> just do the eyeliner already. Do, do the eyeliner. Like, goodness gracious. This is why I hate watching myself do my own makeup sometimes. I am such a perfectionist. At least, like, if it's for something specific. Like, goodness gracious, Sabrina's not going to be seeing me. <laughs> Actually, funny enough, I, short, short story, quick short story. I posted pictures on my Instagram from the concert um, because, like, I this is being posted, like, a week after I went. But, oh, my gosh, Sabrina liked my picture, <gasps> you guys, I was beyond unwell. I said, oh my goodness, I, I cannot, I cannot. <laughs> like she actually saw my pictures in my post and liked it herself. I, I was absolutely flabbergasted. Anyway, as you can see, <laughs> I finished my eyeliner. I used my favorite brow line eyeliner from ColourPop. And now I'm going in with my highlight with my Winx Club highlighter um, by ColourPop. So just going in with that with a nice highlighter brush to give me some beautiful shine. And I love this one because it has like a pink hint to it. And I feel like it goes really well with my skin tone. So yeah, look at that. Looking shiny and beautiful and gorgeous. Um, I go in with mascara next. I use two different ones, one by Maybelline and another by Tarte. The one by Maybelline is really good for lengthening my brows. And then the one by Tarte is great for volume and separating my lashes. So, um, and they are also mini versions. Um, I think that I just got one for my birthday and then another one as a free gift with purchase or something. So I've been using these mini ones for a while. Um, I'm not picky. Like, it's fine. <laughs> so, yeah. 
I will go over my lashes with the Maybelline one first to lengthen and, you know, get them looking nice and long and beautiful. Um, the Tarte one will help to separate them if they ended up clumping together and also to give them some volume. Um, <laughs> fun fact, my boyfriend has a cat and his name is Apollo and he was just like watching me do my makeup and then out of nowhere he like wanted to keep going into the room where I had all my stuff and I was like no get out of there get away from my stuff <laughs> so like there's times where I'm like periodically going out into the hall to tell him to get out of the room but yeah anyway <laughs> I'm naturally a dog person actually so um even though I love Apollo I am a dog person, so I love dogs, and I really love a dachshund, because I love wiener dogs. Um, I guess just a little fun fact, as I'm sitting here watching myself do my makeup and talking about it, so yeah. Um, I think that next, I'm going to go over with another highlighter. Now, I know you're like, girl, more highlight? Yes, because this one has like glitters, like actual sparkles. Oh, at this point in the video, my boyfriend just got into the house. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I'm going over with that because I wanted some extra glitter. And then I will use a brown mascara underneath my eyes to use on my bottom lashes. Um, I wanted to use brown and not black because I didn't want it to look too harsh. So yeah, um, pretty much doing that. I really wanted it to look super you know, long and lustrous, and this is my favorite brown mascara, and they make my bottom lashes look super duper long, so yeah, just going over with that as I'm having a conversation with, <laughs> with my boyfriend in the hall, so um, yes, almost done with the makeup, I'm going to go in with the setting spray, I use the blue light nighttime one from e.l.f. or whatever, so Yes, fan that out. I should have brought my fan when I was here, but it's okay. It's beside the point. So, yeah. And then next, I will definitely be doing my lip. I'm pretty sure it is time for lip. And I wanted to do something that would last all night. So, I um, am going to go in with a stain or like with the pH balance lip stain. You can see it's already changing. This is also from the um, po Pokemon ColourPop collection. It is so super pigmented. So it changes to your pH balance and then it stains. And I love it. So I wanted something that was going to stay. I'm going to go in with my favorite um, brown um, lip liner by NYX. I really like this shade because it feels very um, natural. Somebody do a word count of how many said... How many times I said the word natural in this whole video? Goodness gracious. And then I go over top <laughs> with my gloss balm stick by Fenty in the shade Fussy. And then over top of that with a very, very light beige color by NYX. And then for gloss, I'm using my MAC lip gloss or lip glass. Um, and that's pretty much it. I wanted it to be super simple so yeah this is pretty much like my everyday makeup look if I'm being for real like <laughs> yeah but this is the outfit oh my gosh look at it so cute so the denim obviously because her album cover and the brown obviously because of espresso I didn't want to be like everybody else doing pastels and um I did gold jewelry and a bow in my hair heart earrings I even made a bracelet and then I am wearing some lace stockings and I wore super cute brown boots with it. Um, but of course, I had to add the detail of a little kiss mark because if I was going to do anything, there was definitely going to be a, you know, temporary tattoo of a kiss mark on me somewhere like Sabrina does. Um, so I... Definitely wanted to do a smaller one because I was going to put it on like my shoulder or like my collarbone area. So I just took a little bit of rubbing alcohol and dried out the area so that it would stick better. Um, 
because I was definitely wearing like body oil and lotion and stuff. So at this point, I was just like trying to figure out what the best spot to put it would be and like which side. So I was thinking like in regards to like pictures, like what side is my <laughs> my favorite side to take pictures. So that's how I <laughs> determined to do it on my left shoulder. Um, so yeah, so I, or I guess it would be my right shoulder looking at it this way but if for on me my left your right so <laughs> so yeah so I just picked um one of the smaller ones so it wouldn't look like ridiculous on me and I chose the one down at the bottom corner um I obviously like temporary tattoos are very easy all you do is just put them on Take some water and pat them on and then peel off the back and it's there. So, yeah, I was very, very excited. I got them from Amazon and there were so many other girls there that did the exact same thing. So um, I thought the deeper red kiss mark was cuter. So I went with that one and it turned out super duper cute. So here you see I cut it out so I made it easier to put on. Um, and then I peeled off the plastic back and then I just placed it where I wanted it. And then I went in with the paper towel and I wet it. And then the rest is pretty simple, you know? Um, yeah, I told my friend cause I went with a friend. Um, he is also a Sabrina Carpenter fan. Um, fun fact, we actually met at a totally different concert like last year and he's like my concert buddy now <laughs> but yeah so I actually chose my outfit based off of the song espresso because I wanted to do espresso brown and I just knew that everybody was going to be like miniature Sabrina's which like totally nothing wrong with that look how cute it turned out you guys it's so perfect it was my favorite part of the whole outfit like funny enough but <laughs> and of course I had to top it off with like her short and not her short sweet her um fragrance a uh, sweet tooth but yeah I was like my own version of Sabrina with my outfit and it turned out super duper cute and here are some pictures from the concert look at the boobs so cute but yeah thanks for watching and enjoy these little tips clips <laughs> Thank you as well.